And all proceeds will benefit its Maui Relief Fund. Waterfront Plaza is one of the drop-off locations, and people are starting to drop off items right now. Let's head over there. Joining us live is, Je uh, sorry, Amy Miller Marvin, who is the CEO with Hawaii Food Bank. Aloha, good to see you with us. Aloha, thank you guys so much for being down here with us. Amy, first of all, what do you want people to do this morning right now if they have a chance? So today we are collecting food and funds to support the Maui Food Bank and all of the efforts to, to, to make sure that the community in Maui has everything that they need. So um, we're down here at Waterfront Plaza. We're actually at four other locations across the island. You can come bring food. We're looking for rice, non-perishables, water, uh, snacks diapers, things that you can imagine that folks need right now. Um, and we're also accepting monetary donations that will go right to Maui. So there's a bunch of different ways that you can help and go onto our website, hawaiifoodbank.org, make a gift, and we'll put that, those dollars right to use in Maui. And hunger has already been an issue ever since here across the islands. How has the Maui devastation um, exacerbated the situation for us? I mean, you can imagine we already had what we estimate one in six Hawaii residents is food insecure, including one in four children. That's the second highest rate of childhood food insecurity in the country. So people all over there, across our state were already having a hard time making ends meet. And so on top of this, we have a whole new group of folks who have lost everything. So, you know, just having seen here, all of these folks out to help, to support our brothers and sisters in Maui is really amazing. All right, we know that you have uh, partners that you're working with that are coming down to volunteer all day long here at various uh, places that you mentioned. Um, uh, how many of them are out there with you right now? We're seeing some of them on camera. Gosh, I think we have over 600 volunteers today. So a lot of the community has come out to be here to support to support Maui. Have you already seen a bunch of cars drive up or is it the early hours not really the busy time yet? When does it when does the crunch time really happen? I'm sorry, I missed that question. Oh, I was just asking if you've started to see people drop off um, when the uh, big traffic uh, starts to come in. Yeah, you know, it's already starting to trickle in. So we're, we're real curious to see what it looks like today. We know that um, the community really wants to help, but we know people have already been helping in a lot of different ways. So um, yeah, we're just, we're here, we're here and we're ready to, to take your support. All right. Um, also, we know that you've been in discussions with uh, Maui Food Bank into what is needed. What have they been asking for the most and what are you wanting people to bring? So they've been asking, when one of the first things we heard from the very first day was rice. People want rice, um, non-perishable canned goods, especially pop-top cans, um, things that you could imagine if you were in transitional housing, if you were in a hotel, what could you eat? So snacks, cliff bars, um, water, a lot of baby items, so baby food, diapers, paper goods, those are the kind of things. But, you know, as, as the... Um, relief efforts wear on too. I think there's all, people need all kinds of food. So if you have if you have things that you want to donate, we're here for And also I remember Amy just real quickly, if you don't have items, they'll accept money. Because I remember when I volunteered last year, uh, people were dropping off cash, checks, and that's a, uh, another way to help. Yeah. Absolutely. So you know that's actually the most efficient way to donate is to make a donation of dollars. So for every dollar you donate to Hawaii Food Bank, we can actually provide food for more than two meals, uh, which we can't do on our own at home, right? Like if you were to go to the grocery store and buy a couple cans of tuna, that might cost you four or five dollars. With that same four or five dollars, we could actually get more than uh, sometimes more than a dozen cans of tuna. So we can really stretch that dollar. You can either come down here or just go to our website, hawaiifoodbank.org, and make your Thanks, gift online. Amy. Appreciate Amy, it. we'll see you. As a matter of fact, I'll be down there in just a little while. I'll see you down there. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much. Aloha, guys. Aloha. Right. A lot of things that the Hawaii Food Bank is doing to help. All across the island.